Okay, folks, we are finally here. Our 11th pay-per-view here in XCW. That is right here. We are live on Twitch. XCW here to present you live with the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. This is our final pay-per-view stop before we hit our 60th episode in which we will host our very first ever WrestleMania card. But here tonight we have a lot of awesome action to get a hold of. We have this very first, this pre-show match between these four stars here in XCW. Um, three of them are, are very fresh in the organization, just only been around for a few months. Uh, but one of these men is a huge veteran, longtime member. In fact, uh, one of the longest reigning members here in XCW has been here since the very beginning, and that is C.J. Lyons, Ricky Brown, uh, an impressive man who has fallen twice just short of championship uh, matches. Chris Cassidy, impressed during this last month on Saturday Night Main Event, uh, has done very w well for himself thus far. And Marcus Conan, the last two weeks, has picked up some impressive victories. Uh, he defeated the European champion one-on-one -on -one when Jake Watson got defeated. I, I think everybody was shocked by that loss. Uh, and then we also saw the man that Marcus Conan beat last week uh, was Derek Crow. That man was 1-0 and and now 1-1 one and one due to that win. Uh, these four men have a great opportunity to kick off the show for us tonight and find out which of these men are going to get their very first pay-per-view victory here in XCW. Uh, for anybody in the chat, go ahead and let me know you are here. Casey says, hashtag the return. We might see Ken Green coming back very soon in XCW. Hopefully, uh, it is not the same without KC in action. <clears throat> Kent Carter return promo starts. And before we can even get to our first match, Kent Carter uh, is going to is gonna hit, uh, hit us with a promo here in the chat box. I'm not even sure if anybody else is here or not, but uh, I guess I can always check back on the... On the stream later on, you can always do past broadcasts on Twitch or go search us up on YouTube. We've got NV Wilson here tonight as well. Envy, a very important superstar here in XCW, who is the United States champion. You will see him later on tonight uh, defending his United States title uh, against D Generation X member Jackson Jordan, the man who started a three loss losing streak. Uh, of Envy Wilson, uh, but they will be facing off in not just any type of matchup. It will be a falls count anywhere match. We see both those men back to back in the chat. We see AZW superstar King just believe in the chat as well. He came over and tried to defeat Tyrant uh, for his buddy, his partner in crime, another member of Wolfpack, even though they were in different organizations. Uh, we know that Alpha One runs AZW, brought King just believe over here just for one night to try to take down Promo. <laughs> the promo ends and show starts. <laughs> Ken, Ken Green. Uh, Casey. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and start our first matchup. And remember, this is a pay-per-view. We will have entrances on for the entire evening. And let's jump into action now. We've got quite a few people in the chat. Let's jump into our first match of the evening. This is, uh, personally, uh, I really want to watch this matchup. I have enjoyed all four of these men in their singles career throughout the month. Uh, CJ, by far the longest tenured member of any of these people. He has been here since the very beginning. Uh, the other three men combined would need to, I believe, have tripled or maybe quadrupled their action here in XCW just to equal the one career of CJ Lyons thus far. Uh, but Ricky Brown, Chris Cassidy, and Marcus Conan have all made some major strides in this first month of action, or for in Ricky Brown's case, second month of action. Here he comes to the ring here tonight. Ricky Brown, that is right. That XCW shirt, proud to be a part of this company. 
this man showing off some Texas pride here tonight. Just unveiled this costume, I believe, uh, and within, I mean, excuse me, this attire within the last couple of weeks. And uh, he is definitely a little bit reminiscent uh, of that, uh, those tights worn by Shawn Michaels long ago. DX commenting on the shirt of Ricky Brown. Maybe Ricky Brown has some words for D-Generation X later on tonight. Ricky Brown, she's the first of four gentlemen to come out here tonight. Ricky Brown fell twice just short of United States Championship uh, contendership matches. He, he, he got there and lost the last opportunity. And right here, right now, we're about to see this man. This is Chris Cassidy, I believe. Or is this Marcus Conan? No, no, this is Marcus Conan. Yes, it is Marcus Conan making his way out to the ring here tonight. And he pulls out all the stops with his pyro. This man truly believes he is the next big superstar here in XCW. He has, uh, I guess, really opened everybody's eyes just two weeks ago when he defeated Jake Watson on Saturday Night Main Event. I think our European champion thought, oh good, I'm going to get back in track after losing to Tyrant three weeks back. Uh, he thought everything was going to turn around for him, but then he ran into this man who was not willing uh, to, to lay down or back off, and he took down the European champion who has now lost three consecutive matches. King Just Believe says he had to recreate him because of a corrupted file. Sorry about that, King Just Believe. I do still have your King Just Believe downloaded. I don't know if I could... Uh, some people allow their stuff to be re-uploadable. I didn't know if you did. If I if you did, I could probably simply um, repost your King Just Believe. I, I never double-checked. I don't usually upload creator wrestlers very often. And the third man coming out in this match is Chris Cassidy. KC says he runs to the locker room and spray paints Marcus Conan's luggage with the writing KC on it. Rider sounds like church radio. <laughs> and Cassidy making his way out to the ring here. This man, uh, the start of this month, really started dominating. Had a great opportunity, led a, a, a three of team, uh, sorry, a team of three men, uh, which I was referring to as the rookie roundup. Uh, to take on Evolution, a, a rising power here in XCW, and they defeated Evolution in three-on-three -three tag team action. I think even though Cassidy had been proving his worth on Saturday Night Main Event, nobody expected him to actually pick up the win on Raw a few weeks back. Evolution, of course, not happy about that loss. Uh, and the other two men that you saw in that matchup will face the Evolution tag team of Tyson and Kirby later on tonight. Say Cheese going with Cassidy. We still have one more man to come out here, and that is a man who has been here from the very beginning of XCW. And their opponent, from Toronto, Canada, the Scorpion Soldier 50. DJ Lyons, this is him right here, folks. This is the man that has turned heads since his brother left XCW. They were tag team for 10 consecutive months, by far the longest tenured tag team in XCW history. Uh, but Jay decided to take a sabbatical, a break from wrestling, and his brother has been left to go at it on his own, had to jump into the singles action <clears throat> had a great opportunity this month to, to possibly be fighting for that United States Championship title here tonight, but was unable, fell short of his goal. And he, tonight though, still has an opportunity to pick, his, pick up his very first pay-per-view singles victory here tonight. The only other time that CJ has competed in singles action is when he actually fought against his brother Jay uh, way back at our second pay-per-view the king of the ring, uh, but here tonight, this man 
uh, trying to prove that he is the best of the best and, and is going to defeat these other three younger uh, superstars here in XCW. Definitely by far the longest tenured veteran in this matchup. Nick Nitro, what have you missed? You only missed the first few entrances. We are now getting to our first matchup of the evening. Things are underway. All four men in the center of the ring. Ricky Brown gets the first attack. Nice sleeper takedown right there. Thought he might actually go for a submission hold instead. Takes him down to the ground. Cassidy, the first man to receive a move. Ricky Brown now thrown into the corner by Marcus Conan. While CJ stalling Brain Buster right there. Right to the to the spine of Chris Cassidy as Conan taking it to Ricky Brown on the other side. Okay, I, I guess we're gonna choose the matchups predictions here tonight. Uh, hopefully, my usual guy can write these down. <clears throat> uh, but in this matchup, I you know what? Oh, it's a tough matchup. Every time I seem to go with anybody uh, in a Ricky Brown match, I lose whether I'm going for him or against him. Uh, but I don't know. I'm gonna think I'm gonna go ahead and choose the veteran in this matchup. Uh, yes, I, you know what, I'm going to have to take CJ just from his experience. He has more experience than all three of these men combined two or three times over just in this company alone. So I'm going to have to go with the, the ultimate veteran here in this matchup. CJ is my pick for the evening. We've got three members of D-Generation X here. Now, I guess uh, technically all four as uh, Tyrant is the... Uh, his manager, Natalia, will be competing here tonight as well. Chris Cassidy lifting up Marcus Conan inside the ring. Remember, guys, this is an extreme rules match. Uh, weapons are not just allowed in this Fatal 4 match. They are encouraged. This tonight is a night when things are going to get extreme. We will see weapons galore throughout the evening. We will more than likely see multiple people busted open blood covering the canvas, covering their faces, covering the the bodies of, of all these superstars, possibly bloody fists from all the beatings uh, that these men are going to take here tonight. And outside the ring, Ricky Brown and C.J. Wilson. Sorry, <clears throat> sorry I knew I was going to do that. C.J. Lyons uh, taking it to each other and a nice sweet chin music. C.J. take down uh, by Ricky Brown while Cassidy taking Marcus Conan down inside, going for a comeback maneuver, a nice shuffle sidekick underneath the jaw right now. We've got Sean Tia in the house as well. Hello from Russia, says Kazimir Ivanov. Ivana? Iv Ivanov, yeah, I guess Ivanov. <clears throat> nice to see another person here, even if he's telling me, I hope you die. <laughs> Envy Wilson, the type of guy to marry <laughs> Hold on, Canadian backbreaker t uh, submission move right here. And CJ just now noticed it, tries to get in the ring, but no, Cassidy taps out. And this matchup, an early one here tonight, CJ and Ricky Brown would not let their feud go. Both men probably upset about not advancing in that US title tournament. They were simply uh, punishing each other on the outside of the ring. And Cassidy, out of nowhere, gets locked in this Canadian backbreaker. He had no way of getting, escaping from that hold. And the Canadian backbreaker makes him tap out. First match of the evening is already over. Look at this. Just painfully locking and applying that submission hold. Cassidy had nowhere to go. Could not get his feet. And, and most submission holds are actually on the ground and can use your hands or some part of your body in order to, to propel yourself toward the ropes. But he was held up uh, on the back and there was nothing he could do to escape that match right there. Marcus Conan, impressive here tonight. You know, really picking up those last three weeks, Conan has really impressed the XCW universe. Uh, but here tonight, we will now head to the rest of our matches. And uh, I, after a very hard-fought battle against the board of directors who tried as hard as they could not to allow the Tag Team Tornado Extreme Rules match here tonight, I have won that battle with the board of directors, a.k.a. the game itself. <clears throat> and finally, we will have our very first ever Tag Team Tornado match here tonight. The Birds of Prey defending their XCW Tag Team Championships against the Vigilantes. 
let's go ahead and get to that matchup. Uh, due to me trying to change matches, it actually changes the match type. Uh, I had to go to great lengths to get this match here. We're going to actually have to start this one from this menu. We will not be able to, uh, to do it any other way. Uh, let's go ahead and change the momentum to slow. And we are going to go ahead and jump straight into this match here. First matchup on the uh, uh, quote-unquote official card. Our pre-show match was an, uh, a very quick one. Not expecting it to be so. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and jump into the very first ever tag team Extreme Rules Tornado Tag Match. Uh, and our show is underway, folks. Make sure that that is slow momentum. Here we go. Nick Nacho, where is your match? Um, <clears throat> uh, I'll explain really quickly. I was not able to set the card up before the show. I actually tried to do that, and it deleted the tag team tornado tag team match. So I had to go to great lengths to get that match back, uh, and I cannot edit the card at all until I get this match over with. It's the only match that you cannot actually choose in the game. You see the Tornado Tag Team Extreme Rules. You cannot actually choose that in the game. You have to trick the universe in order to give it to you. <clears throat> but, so here we go. Brian, uh, sorry, Brent Ryder, Chris Cryptic will be taking on the Birds of Prey. The Birds of Prey won the tag team titles at our last pay-per-view against the NW Wolfpack. And the NW Wolfpack, uh, the sixth dynasty, who had been together for 10 straight months, Jay decided to take a break after that. So whatever the Birds of Prey did to Jay, it sent him packing for the time being. Vigilantes are the only team that's really given the Birds of Prey trouble. Uh, you know, Or at least every time they have fought him, I believe that the Vigilantes have won. So we'll see here tonight if that trend can continue. Because unlike every other tag team match we've ever had here in XCW, in terms of two versus two, this one will not have tags. It will not have disqualification. Uh, you must pin inside the ring, but weapons will be encouraged, and it definitely is going to be extreme here tonight. <clears throat> We've got Chris Cryptic in the chat. Perfect timing for Chris Cryptic to arrive. As you see him right here, right there. There he is making his way out to the ring here tonight. Both these men trying to get back their XCW Tag Team Championship belts. They are both two-time Tag Team Champions. <clears throat> both times that they've had those belts did not hold them very long before giving them up one just a couple of weeks, one just a month. They want to not only win the tag team titles here tonight, but they want to defend them at WrestleMania as well. <clears throat> and they will only have that opportunity if they can win these belts here or not. They would have to maybe possibly go through more teams in order to get another shot. Vigilantes wanting to win back the belts they feel like that they maybe should have never lost. <clears throat> they only lost possibly due to the fact that Chris Cryptic was injured Extremely severely in that three, that triple threat ladder tag team match uh, <clears throat> at TLC. I, LOL, I hope Chris Cryptic doesn't bleed as much as last time. <clears throat> Mad Dog got rabies from Shantia, says <laughs> Tyron in the chat. What DLC is on Hawk? I don't know what DLC is on Hawk. King's Believe could probably tell you, though. We've got B Tornado 7 here tonight. And just like the Vigilantes, the Birds of Prey coming out from the crowd here tonight. But there's one thing that they have that the challengers do not, and that is those tag team titles around their waist. The Birds of Prey, it took them three months to get their first tag team championship match. And, and I guess technically so far in title matches, the Birds of Prey are one and zero. Uh, so the Vigilantes, even though they have won the titles on two different occasions, including that very tough tag team title gauntlet match uh, the birds of prey are technically have a better overall standing uh, when it comes to title matches but of course the vigilantes have fought in many more championship bouts than the birds of prey have what's up nash you ready to go tonight a b 207 hey kgb how's it going what's up nash hashtag image 45 birds of prey wants Rey mysterio for a manager very well can do that, King Just Believe. If they want Rey Mysterio to help guide them in their XCW career, 
We can definitely see that in the future, but not here tonight. Uh, we have already got this match underway. First ever. Uh, I personally am excited to see this. I don't know. This might be craziness. Might have glitches and and uh, stupid whatever. But I am just excited to to see a tornado tag team match here tonight. First ever in XCW history. Let's watch this match right now. It is slow momentum. Let's go ahead and see this match underway. All four men in the ring. And here we go. Early on, Ryder taking down Hawk Falcon, knocking down Chris Cryptic. I am going to go ahead and go with the Vigilantes to win this matchup here tonight, guys. Uh, 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 Jackson, Jordan, if you're writing these down, let me know if you're not. Or Tornado, if you're writing these down, if you're not, let me know so I can write these down in case um, nobody's writing them down. I don't want people to not get uh, for their you know, prediction to get these things. And Ryder once again tripping Hawk to the ground. And uh, Chris Cryptic was taking it to Falcon. Ryder once again able to block that move of Hawk. So far, Ryder is doing a great job. Uh, Cryptic early on got taken down by Falcon, but has turned things around. But Ryder going to get these things extreme pretty quick. Got a steel chair right now. Cryptic has Falcon and Hawk both looking at him. But a steel chair being entered into the equation. Ryder knocks down Hawk with it. Well, don't worry, nobody guessed that first match correctly. Nobody took Marcus Conan, uh, so we don't need to worry about that first matchup. Brent Ryder, nice running DDT, jumped up high, slams Falcon Hart into the ground. Chris Cryptic gets taken down. I think Hawk might be going for a comeback maneuver, double heel kicks, followed by that huge spinning neck breaker. Cryptic in a little bit of trouble. Attempt. Hawk won. No, Cryptic kicking out off just a one count. Got that signature after hitting that, successfully hitting that maneuver right there. It accidentally hits his own tag team partner, but still able to knock Cryptic down. Got a little bit of lag right here. Hopefully lag will go away as this match continues. Ryder attacking Hawk. Hawk shoving him back. Cryptic trying to throw Falcon outside the ring. No pullback attempt. Falcon takes him down while Ryder, it looked like he was going for a a particular move and instead jumps on the top rope but luckily for Hawk able to start moving before Ryder could do anything about it and Falcon is beating Cryptic actually uh, maybe accidentally smashes Ryder down with that uh, Singapore cane Ryder now has got the steel chair smashes Falcon right across the gut twice Hawk trying to attack Ryder from behind finally steals the chair from him and throws it down on the ground and right here, what is going on? Arm wrench right here. No. Oh, no. It's no duel. Oh, Cryptic just got his arm popped out of place, maybe. Very painful mover. I think his arm's okay, but definitely a stinger right there. Hawk going for the pinfall here on Ryder. One, two, just a two count. It's going to be a lot harder to break up pinfalls in this match. We're used to the men being on the apron. And uh, whoever is the... Hold on. Huge face buster... Uh, Oh, gosh, I can't remember the name of that. That I just called it the. Uh, I honestly cannot remember the name of the move right there. But full Nelson fa uh, front face buster right there. Brent Ryder trying to keep the attack going, but Chris Cryptic just simply standing back, uh, allowing Ryder to be attacked for a moment, and he just got a huge down. Falcon could go for the pinfall, but he might turn his attention back to Ryder. Hold on, signature move. Hawk could be in trouble. He gets taken down. Falcon pops up with a chance maybe at a comeback maneuver, and it quickly breaks up the pinfall. Cryptic doing a little bit of uh, uh, taking his time here. Skull crushing finale. Thank you, Nitro. I couldn't remember what Miz calls that. Um, hold on. Ryder picked up that steel chair, maybe going for a move there. Cryptic gets blocked as Ryder throws Hawk to the far side. Falcon gets blocked. Cryptic knocks him back with a nice punch. Brent Ryder could have a finishing maneuver maybe. Could try to go. Hold on. C4 out of nowhere. Blue Thunderbomb. Sorry, no. Sit out. Spine Buster. Now Ryder goes for a pinfall. One, two, three. We have new tag team champions. The back of the head of Hawk. That might have been why he was unable to kick out. And for a while, in the middle of this match, uh, till pretty late, it looked like Hawk and Falcon had really taken things over. Cryptic a little bit laid back. Ryder 
uh, unable to fight them off. But in the end, some good teamwork near the end. Both men getting the advantage. Falcon uh, could not be pinned by Chris Cryptic, but Cryptic kept him busy long enough for Ryder to hit that C4 maneuver onto the steel chair. And you see the new tag team champions here tonight. The first ever Tornado Tag Team Extreme Rules match won by the Vigilantes. Both teams did a good job. Uh, you know, I think Hawk got injured early on in this matchup, got a, a comeback, but it really turned things around for the team. Falcon got one late, helped them out late, but not enough as a uh, it took a signature and finisher from Brent Ryder after a hard, long-fought match to put Hawk down for the count. Super lag. Apparently there was super lag. I didn't see it. Obviously, I can't tell that there's lag. Currently, it doesn't say there's any lag for me. There, it, there has popped up a couple of times. Might need to track down my phone, make sure it is not um, using my Wi-Fi. That might help out a little bit. Uh, but that was our first matchup of the evening. Got to go ahead and exit out now and set up the next matches. Sadly, uh, Extreme Wolves would not allow me to set the matches up. Might as well just go straight up the card here, do one match at a time until we get through with the evening. The next match on the card, folks, is the European Championship match. It will be Nick Nitro versus Jake Watson. Jake Watson defending his European title for the first time since uh, defeating Alex Tyson to gain the championship belt. How are you wrestling and toggling magic? Let's go ahead and, uh, yes, title match here tonight. Here he is, Jake Watson, folks. One-on-one -on -one Extreme Rules. He will be defending this championship belt against D-Generation X member Mr. Just Reach a 95. Where is he? No, no, there we go. Nick Nitro reaching a 95 just before the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. And we will see these two men competing right here, right now. As soon as that loading box disappears, <laughs> got to make sure that is a slow momentum. And here we go, folks. Second tag team, or excuse me, second championship match of the evening. And let's jump straight into the action. So go ahead and let us know who you think is going to win this matchup. Um, you know what? I'm going to choose against D-Generation X here tonight simply for the fact that <laughs> it's his twin brother who was also bald. Um, I think I read that already once. But uh, I am going to go ahead. Uh-oh. I think Watson might not have set his. Uh-oh. Watson did not set his ch his uh, entrance when he updated his creator wrestler. So we have got distracted here tonight that he can I was just about to take Jake Watson to win this match here tonight folks but you know what after what I just saw what, what I'm seeing right now I'm gonna flip my vote instead of choosing Jake Watson I think he is too distracted with other things here tonight I'm gonna take Nick Nitro to win this match I'm flipping my vote based on the fact that he does not seem to have his head here in the game <laughs> tornado doing the same thing saying now I gotta go with Nitro this man is usually coming out here with a lot of flair, but not here tonight. He is coming out with that phone uh, on his face. Nitro getting <laughs> Brian Nash not very happy about the fact that he is on his phone here tonight. Hates it when people don't take wrestling seriously here in XCW. And I'll be right back. I'm going to try to make sure that my Wi-Fi is running properly um, so you will not hear. Oh, never mind. Here <laughs> Found my phone at the last second. I thought I was gonna have to go searching around my house for it real fast. Um, and let's see. Okay, Wi-Fi is off on my phone, so we should be good to go. Should help out definitely um, with what is happening. Hopefully, the lag will jettison, no longer be available. K-1 
KC heading out to the ring just before Nick Nitro. He is at ringside accompanied by Nikki Bella. He is out here to watch this European Championship match. <laughs> Say Cheese saying the head smash against the pole apparently messed him up bad. Yes, possibly Jackson Jordan might have given Nick Nitro the championship belt even before this match started. I don't know if Jake Watson, uh, he technically passed concussion protocol, but they are not perfect. It is still possible that he has a concussion, uh, but luckily just barely passed the, the protocol, and, and he is allowed to compete here and defend his European championship here tonight. <laughs> here to go we are seeing these two men competing in the center of the ring quickly Jake Watson gets the advantage gets behind Nitro if you notice Jake Watson has dyed his hair black now and he has uh, obviously gotten a little bit more colorful with his attire even further distanced himself from the maniac gimmick now he wore that same attire for quite a while and changing things up here tonight. Will this change in personality, change in appearance, uh, backfire along with a change in his championship status? And Nick Nitro might be able to pull off the win here tonight. Instead of New Day, DX sucks. So I guess DX sucks. DX sucks. D. X sucks. I guess is what the chant that King just believe wants the people to be chanting in the crowd. <laughs> Casey, once for me, 94 says, Casey, I kept staring at Nikki's boobs. <laughs> right here, lifting him up. Oh, I thought he was maybe trying to go for a uh, some kind of spine buster. But I said it was Nitro who uh, used his momentum high up in the air to hit a vicious DDT. Watson, though, quickly returning the favor with a nice suplex toss right there and quickly follows it up with a, a, a spinning elbow drop to the chest of Nitro. Nice reversal by Nitro. Nitro running at him, able to connect barely with that right hand, uh, enough to stop Nitro only momentarily, and Nitro turns things around, stalling Brain Buster right there. Great move there by Nitro, setting up Watson for the fall for a moment. Watson back to his feet. Hitting him in the elbow with his gut. Sorry, <laughs> his gut with his elbow. Watson, though, back on the ground after being tossed into the turnbuckle. Nitro trying to pound him with right fist into the corner. New. Watson fights him off. New day sucks. New day sucks. Jackson saying that New Day sucks. I guess chanting with the WWE audience. He heard me say the DX chant and uh, wanted to join in. But Shantia Alpha will not be here tonight in the uh, on the show, but she will be in the chat. She is in the chat. Not. <laughs> Hold on, Nick Nitro trying to get things extreme here. Grabbed a baseball bat. Watson took it away from him, but immediately clocks him in the face. Once Nitro stole the back back from Watson, he is now pounding him. Luckily, oh, I was about to say luckily for Watson, only one of those strikes so far had actually connected with his head, and he very well might have another concussion here tonight, guys. He just smacked him directly in the center of his forehead with that bat, but Watson valiantly still fighting back here tonight. Holds on. Oh! Nick Nitro just gets powerbombed on top of that bat. And now Nitro being picked up once again. This time a pickup powerbomb. Luckily that bat had rolled out of the way. Otherwise he might have had two direct powerbombs onto the bat. Nice right jab or left jab from Jake Watson. A good takedown by Nick Nitro. I don't believe we have seen a signature or finisher from either man or a comeback. Uh, neither, none of those things have been able to be hit by either superstar. Watson knocks Nitro onto the, the ropes here. Sets up for a move. What is this? Close lines him over the top. Watson now, he looks like he is setting something up here. The referee needs to interfere, needs to know that you're not allowed to do, hold on. Oh, through the ropes. Now I guess this is an extreme rules match. You can't stop people from doing those maneuvers. It doesn't matter basically what you do in an extreme rules match. It doesn't matter. 
everything is allowed. Uh, the Basically, the only rule within an Extreme Rules match is that the pinfall or submission must happen within the confines of the ring itself. Again, this is no and right here, hold on, lifting, uh, looking underneath the ring, maybe trying to pull something else out. Steel chair now. Nitro walking away from him, slides in the ring, wanting to get away from Watson. Picks up the bat, bat versus chair. Chair wins this time. Batson out of the ring. Catches the chair, hit, uh, kips up, catches the chair. Watson steals it back. Watson now running and once again smashes the head of Nick Nitro. Nick Nitro fights back though, blocks that move from Watson. Watson turns around. Watson going for this, hits the kill switch, rolls him over. Is Watson going to retain? One, two, no, Watson, so close to keeping his European Championship belt. Nitro has enough wherewithal to kick out, but he is setting up. This might be an F5. There's no way he'll kick out if he hits it. No, blocks it. Knocks nice forearm to the back, and he's got a hold of Watson now. Oh, no, he's going for that combination move. He hits the Northern Light Suplex. Pick up Brain Buster. Nitro might have just knocked him clean out. That Brain Buster could be it. One. Two, three, Nick Nitro, our new European champion here tonight. And what looked like moments earlier that he was going to get taken down for the count gets hit with that vicious, unprettier, that kill switch, almost gets pinned, setting up for a finisher with Jake Watson. Watson so close to victory. And then quickly hitting that Northern Light Suplex Brain Buster Combination Finishing Maneuver, and he puts him down for the count. Watson losing the European Championship here tonight. He had walked out of the last two pay-per-views, winning back the European title, but out, heading out of Extreme Rules here tonight is that man right there, Nick Nitro. DX's first ever championship belt, just won by that man in black and green here tonight. KC getting into the ring, staring at Nick Nitro, and he stares at the championship belt itself. KC wanting a shot at that title. Don't know if KC will have an, an offers to shake his hand. What will Nitro's response be after winning this championship belt and proudly holding it up into the air? Nitro shakes Casey's hand. Casey knows that he lost to the man that is now European champion. Maybe he'll be trying to offer Nitro, or maybe trying to get a, t a championship match against him before WrestleMania. Maybe let it, allowing KC to fight in that Intercontinental Championship match. But folks, we are going to move on now to our next match of the evening. That was our third match of our Extreme Rules pay-per-view Hawk is coming for that belt, Nitro, says King Just Believe. Is Falcon leaving XCW? If, if Hawk is coming after that belt, maybe Falcon, maybe the Birds of Prey are disbanding. I'm not sure exactly what he means by the fact that he is coming here tonight. Or sorry, that he is after that championship belt. <clears throat> but right here, right now, we are about to see next, folks, is going to be a Tag team. Yes, next, folks, is going to be a tag team match. It will be Evolution taking on uh, the team of Brooks and Balmer. For the first time ever, we will see these two men tag teaming or actually competing in a regular match at a pay-per-view. Nick Nacho says, tell Hawk to get in line. Hashtag DX takeover. Hashtag just the beginning. DX very confident in their uh, their chances here tonight. <clears throat> this is going to be Evolution coming out first. Alex Tyson here tonight. Uh, along with Kirby. I passed him like six times, haven't I? I think it's always because Kirby is not the first name on his character. That's why it throws me off. Uh, these two men here tonight, AJ not allowed at ringside for this event. She interfered in their last matchup. 
Uh, so she is not allowed out here tonight. We will see if these two men without AJ can pick up the win over this brand new tag team who fought valiantly against the now tag team champions, uh, the Vigilantes, just last week. And Byron Brooks and Nate Bomber should be the ones coming out here. Let's go ahead and start this matchup in just a moment. Watson comes to the ring and says, Nitro, I want my rematch. It's once for me, 94, Jake Watson tonight. Are you under another account on Twitch, Jake? I don't know if that's if that's you, then that would explain why you were saying that. <laughs> okay, guys, this is a normal matchup. Therefore, we will go back under normal momentum. But let's go ahead and start this match here tonight, guys. Evolution versus Brooks and Bomber. Uh, things are getting heated here tonight. Let, you know what? I just need to make sure that I did not accidentally choose... Ah, see, that would have really upset me. <laughs> okay. Oh no, no, no. Trying to trying to put Zach Zero in the match. Not supposed to be Zach Zero. See, I realized I I just I had this feeling that I needed to back out, and make sure that I was not choosing a superstar at all. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and uh, once it says we will start this match. LOL. Tyrant better than bed and breakfast. I don't get that one. Okay, here we go. Starting this match here tonight, Evolution should come out first, followed by... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Everybody sees what it reads, right? What it says on the screen? <laughs> I don't know if I can repeat it. It's so hilarious. Okay. Uh, NV, your matchup coming up a little bit later on tonight, but right now, this is not a tag team for the WWE Women's Championship. This matchup is simply Evolution versus Brooks and Balmer, but the video game uh, apparently wanting to make it for the WWE Women's Championship belt. <laughs> I don't know why. Evolution does not actually have their Evolution theme song. Uh, I would sing it if I knew the words well enough. <laughs> Alexis Tyson told you, says Sean Don. I think I'm going to go. Uh, you know what? Evolution picked up a nice win this last week, and Brooks and Bomber fought well against the now tag team champions. But I think I just, for tonight alone, I think that I'm going to have to go with a new tag team here tonight. Uh, the fact that they had AJ last week, did not have here th here this evening. I'm going to go with Brooks and Bomber to win the matchup here tonight. <coughs> Evolution is a mystery, says B-Tornado7. <laughs> yes, this might be a match for the Women's Tag Team Championship, maybe. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder what the match is going to say. <laughs> they're going to give them, like, dual women's championship belts. If there's going to be a, a, a animation for this match or not. If it's still going to think it's a championship match. <laughs> Nate Bomber with the jacket. Byron Brooks sporting. Remember that he shaved his, or not shaved, but got a trim, cut his hair, uh, trimmed the beard. And uh, Bomber helping him out with his attire, giving him uh, new purpose and life here on XCW. This man came in with, with just about nothing. I mean, literally nothing. He had the clothes on his back, and that was it. And for weeks, the universe did not know what to do with this man. They, they cheered him, but they just... It was basically, like to, to a degree, a sob story. And Nate Bomber, after losing to Byron Brooks, took him under his wing. Uh, and here tonight, uh, <laughs> luckily there was no women's championship uh, animation. <laughs> uh, but right here, right now, Brooks in the ring with Alex Tyson... Tyson, one of our few XCW superstars to currently be a 95 overall. Alex Tyson, Nick Nitro, Brian Nash, I believe, uh, or maybe Tyrant as uh, the only men with 95 overalls. Cannot remember if Tyrant is 94 or 95. But they have done a lot of things here in XCW. Both Nick Nitro and uh, Alex Tyson are the only two men so far to get the website activity overall point. Uh, I believe most people who have extra overall points have the chat activity for being here for five streams 
in a row. A lot of people also have um, being a solo or in a faction for 15 consecutive weeks. Another way to get your overall bumped an extra point. Alexis Tyson looks like he got beat with a box of Fruit Loops. I guess that's because he has uh, the light blue attire here tonight. <clears throat> Brandishing that wolf. Hey, uh, paying homage to the days he went by Alex Wolf, but he is still Alex Tyson and the leader of Evolution here tonight. And Brooks and Bomber right now tag teaming against Evolution. Evolution trying to become dominant. You know, we've had the Vigilantes, the, the Wolf Pack, uh, uh, basically a quick recap for how Dominus has gone here in XCW. For a while, nobody uh, besides a few tag teams really were partnering up. Then Foreign Affairs popped up out of nowhere. Uh, after Foreign Affairs started to, you know, be around for a while, the Wolf Pack came in, the Vigilantes came in. They kind of both together ran Foreign Affairs into the ground. Uh, they dispersed quickly before eventually these two teams are battling out for dominance here in XCW. Finally, D-Generation X came into the fold as well. And for a while, it seemed like DX could do nothing but lose. Maybe this was going to be a, a weak group that could not touch the legacy of D-Generation X in the past. Uh, but in the last couple of months, everything has turned around for this group. They, after winning the Rumble, it really seemed to spark the change within the group itself. And here tonight, they have a chance to walk out with three separate championship belts here tonight. And, uh, you know, I don't know Evolution trying to get to that stage, but I don't know if they can do what DX has done. DX won the very first ever Royal Rumble as well. I've been here for five weeks in a row, says KC. KC might have that extra overall point as well. You've got to try to contact me when you think you get an extra overall point. I can either edit your stats yourself or you can upload a new wrestler with your overall stats changed. Wolf still sucks, says Ty Tyrant. Janet Jordan, Ty Tyrant Tia, and Nikki Nitro. <laughs> Destiny's Child. <laughs> a little KGB, AZW, uh, <clears throat> hazing the D-Generation X members here tonight after they're trying to attack Alex Tyson, uh, the leader of another faction in the organization. Byron Brooks doing a nice little magic trick if they're able to pop up with the shoulders of Kirby for a moment, but fell back down only to get taken down with that huge spinning foot right there. No salt, just psychological warfare, says KGB. Hold on, dragging him to the center of the ring. And picks him up hard here, smashes him with that back suplex. Brooks, I'm not sure if Brooks has ever tacked out of this match. Needs to maybe send Balmer into the ring, allow him to take on Kirby for the moment being. Is this PS4, Ash Catham? No, this is not. This is Xbox One. Uh, I'm assuming that you have PS4. That's why you would ask that question. Uh, but this is an Xbox One creator wrestler. Uh, really, it's a simulation commentary. Like basically, I comment on the uh, matches that I set up in universe mode based with the creator wrestlers that the universe gives me. <clears throat> the universe being AKA and the Xbox One community. And right here, big hit and a miss. Turns around, hold on, Kirby zigzag right in front of Bomber. Bomber quickly though gets in the ring, gonna break that up pretty easily. Hold on, picks him up high in the air. F5 by Curry. He might have just put him away. <clears throat> but once again, Bomber. Hold on, Bomber not getting in the ring. One, two, three. Bomber made the mistake. Should have gotten in the ring. He said he ran over where he was. And then for some reason, Bomber didn't get in there to help his partner. Uh, I know that they definitely wanted to win this matchup here tonight. I'm shocked he did so. Maybe, uh, you know, they wanted to win this match. Maybe he thought a good lesson for Brooks to, to learn that he's not always going to be there for him. He's not going to be always be able to get in there and break up the pinfalls. And it was maybe testing Brooks to see if he would have the wherewithal, the heart to kick out. Bomber and Brooks might have to get back to the ring, get back to training, and come back rejuvenated 
when we head to Raw after Extreme Rules. We are heading toward that WrestleMania XCW episode 60. Just five episodes away now as Evolution picks a very nice win here tonight. You want to talk about a tag team war? We most definitely witnessed just that. This was from Bell. Act like you never had a typo, Janet Jordan. <laughs> King just believed, kind of just beat. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and set up our next match of the evening. We have had a Fatal 4-Way Extreme Rules match. We have had a Tag Team Tornado Extreme Rules match. We have had a Tag Team match that you just saw between those two teams. We have seen the European title defended in an Extreme Rules match as well. But now things go a little bit away from simply extreme to brutal uh, and not brutal, but beautiful as well. We are about to see the XCW Women's Championship match defended inside of, you're not going to believe this, guys, but a women's steel cage match that is going to be spectacular. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Where are we going? Oh, it's near the bottom, I believe. Here it is. The Women's Championship belt. Um, yes, it is one-on-one. -on -one. It is a steel cage match. DX saying that is Natty's playground. Emma will be taking on the woman who won the... <clears throat> Did my game just freeze? I think my game just froze, guys. Uh, I'll give it about 20 seconds. If it doesn't unfreeze, I'm going to have to restart, which really sucks. Things were going great. Uh, occasionally 2K freezes. Occasionally Twitch kicks me off. Uh, things never go quite right. Okay, would somebody, before I leave, I know you, most of you guys can hear me, but would somebody in the, in the chat please type that not to leave. It will just be about a minute and a half, and the stream will be back up. In fact, it'll take less time than that. <clears throat> but somebody please type it in the chat for those who aren't paying attention to the stream itself. Somebody please type, do not go anywhere. The stream is not going anywhere. I simply have to reset the game now. So it's going to automatically cut the broadcast, and I'll have to restart it pretty quickly. But uh, I will be right back. Uh, okay. So don't go anywhere, guys. 